Hello everybody, Travis Chandler here of Chandler Gaming here with episode 6 of the Engineer series here of Mass Effect. Let's get down to it here. See what we do here. We are... Message coming in. Fred! Patching it through. Admiral Hackett here, Commander. Your helmsman just forwarded your report on Major Kyle. We sent in a team as you instructed. Kyle's followers have disbanded, and the Major surrendered to us without incident. We'll make sure he gets the help he needs. To be honest, Shepard, I thought this thing was going to end in a bloodbath. I don't know how you did it, but you saved a lot of lives. Congratulations. Damn right, that's what I do. <laughs> Last episode, that's what we did. So here we are looking at the Majesty. Oh, I didn't cut this out? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't cut that out. Whoops, that's okay. That's okay. What am I going to do? Max out Spectre? Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Max out Spectre. Because we have Operative maxed out. Now we just need Spectre and then we'll be all good to go there. So, here we go. We're going to find out what happened to the Majesty's crew. We found the particles going towards the planet there, so we're going to go on to the planet and we're going to see what's going on. I wish that loading screen was a um, screensaver of the Normandy just flying like that. I, I wish that was a screensaver. That'd be cool, you know? So what are we doing here? Oh, I know what this is. The trap. The beacon trap. Here we go. Kill all the gas. And then here we go, to the point of interest. Whoever it is, they have alliance weaponry, so... I'm still not in a good spot. There we go. Shit. There we go. There we fucking killed him. But we leveled up again, so here we go. Maxed out Spectre training for Master Unity. And what are we going to do here? Assault training. Oh, we forgot Liara. Again, I don't really know why I wasted the money on, or wasted the points on stasis. I never use it. I never use it. I, I don't even know a strat to use it, you know? I really don't. And those that may not know, um, the max level of this game is 60. Good now. I'm actually kind of thinking of doing a second run of this off offline just to get to level 60. And then maybe doing an ins insanity run. Because I've done it before. I've done insanity before. But you need a level 60 character to survive insanity. You really do. Boom. 
damn, we killed that son bitch. <laughs> and Ashley killed that son bitch. So who else we gotta kill? Looks like somebody upstairs. Yep, they're pointing up, so yep, they're upstairs. You must die. Now you throw, you throw! Idiot. I could have I could have threw her off the edge. That would have been cool. That's okay. See, on the PS3 version, I did um get the platinum trophy for this game. For the first game, I didn't get it for two or three, but I did for this one. But to get the platinum for this version, you have to do insanity and hardcore for all three games. Fuck that, I tried it in two. Fuck that, man. Because they they give you way harder fucking enemies to kill, and Jesus Christ, some of it gets really hard to do, and The key to doing insanity, I, I have learned the key to doing insanity, is not to do the side missions. You want to just do the main mission, and that's it. That's why you want a level 60, so you don't have to worry about experience, you just worry about um, getting through the game, you know? And you want max weapons. Oh, we're here to meet Elena Blake. I owe you a debt of gratitude. With my former partners dead, this syndicate is now mine. I could not have done it without you. Those men deserve to die. Now are we going to have a problem? Not if I can help it, Commander. I hope you can see that I am by far a lesser evil than those men. Under my leadership, this organization will restrict itself to gambling and smuggling illegal technologies. Can you say scum bucket? There will be no drugs and no slave taking for the Batarians. Those days are over. I'm giving you one chance to live through this. Shut this gang down. I cannot believe you place such a high priority on stopping such petty victimless crimes. If I disband the gang, I walk away freely. I have not come so far to be arrested. I would die before going to prison. I would most certainly kill before going to prison. Now, do we have a deal? You're free to go. I don't ever want to see this gang again. If I do... You won't. I'm not so foolish as to break my word to a Spectre. Now, if you'll excuse me, my men become nervous in the presence of law enforcement agents. <laughs> Goodbye, Shepard. Okay. So now we're gonna go to Novaria. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that's what we're gonna do. Head off to Novaria. To investigate. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy. Requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. If confirmation cannot be established, your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Yeah. Big dicks like that. Okay. I didn't cut this out? Or did I just say the hell with it and just move on? I just said the hell with it and moved on. Okay, cool. I was gonna say, I didn't cut out going to the Quartermaster? Didn't need to because I didn't go to Quartermaster. <laughs> Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. 
The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. That's far enough. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm a Spectre. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. Shut up, bitch! We will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Ovaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Back away, nice and slow. Let's not start a fight. Aye, aye, Commander. Captain Matsuo, stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Parasini-san will meet you upstairs. Behave yourself. Why is it that the Japanese put, like, the San or the... Um, you know, the stuff at the end of their names like that. Why, why do they do that? I wonder. I know it's cultural, but I, I wonder why. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. You understand our security chief was only doing her job. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? An Asari matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Benezia? She is here? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard. About my mother. No, I don't. I trust you, Liara. You may not be military, but you're part of my crew. Damn right. Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. <laughs> This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. News travels fast here. Damn right it does. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy fees. Fees. <laughs> Is there anything else this one might help you with? I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. All right. So we're we went got the package. It's at the ship, Greetings, and Spectre. we and came back. The package. Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. 
From the deepness of light, it thanks you. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. Yeah, damn it. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. This one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. Show me what you're selling. Of course. Of course. I skip all that. Now we're going to talk to the administrator. I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain space-born vagabonds. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. This Asshole. Is I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What can you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? And you didn't think that was weird? Yeah! I followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. His what? Executor. Saren is a major shareholder in Binary Helix. Lady Benezia is authorized to act in his name. She is here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. I'd like to see her, immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Forget him, Commander. If he won't play ball, I'm sure someone else here will. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. Asshole. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. So it would seem. I need an alternative. Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not within earshot of Mr. Analeas. Talk to you later. Very well. All right. So now we're going to go see Lorik Keen, but we're going to do a little side thing here. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. Dullstone. That makes you <laughs> ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in Binary Helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. 
I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. So we're gonna be a spy! I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. Secret age, it man! I'll go see him now. I hope to hear from you soon. Can I help you? Mr. Vargas, Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Military. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? It's customary to perform minor genetic upgrades upon enlistment. I've been assigned to see what BH has to offer. It was my understanding that the Alliance contracted to Mars Gene for its enhancement programs. I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. You can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero-gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero-based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I can get you those improvements for 30k credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision, and hearing from 12 to 22,000 hertz. I'll make sure that's in my report. The beam counters back at HQ can figure out the details. You know what I'm saying? I suppose. My own job is to count beams. I have to admit, it surprised me that you're here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria, some not entirely. Does Binary Helix have any less than above board projects? I'll keep my source confidential. Certainly not. Our corporate reputation is sterling. I can assure you all of Binary Helix's operations on Navaria are strictly on the level. I'm sorry, Mr. Vargas. That's a call I have to take. Thank you for your time. Of course, Commander Shepard. We look forward to hearing from you. There we go. We did it. We got that one without a problem. <laughs> Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits to your account. Only 500? All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more. Since you couldn't do it yourself, I mean. Right? Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Bitch. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Are you Lorik Keen? I've heard you might be able to help me. You are the Spectre that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? I'm trying to find a way into the garage. I have places to go. You need a pass. How fortuitous. I'm the manager of the local Synthetic Insights office. For the moment, at least. Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. Can you say scum bucket? I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. You have a plan? I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the... Evolution? <laughs> Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. If he's paying them under the table, they're mercenaries. I can kill mercenaries. 
Excellent. Here is my pass into our offices. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Oh, and do try to keep blood stains off the carpets, would you? We'll try. Oh, but here we go. We're going into the office. Freeze! Hanshan Security. This office is sealed. What are you doing in these offices? The administrator's orders. Laura Keen is under investigation. Analeas is paying you to shake this place down. Does Captain Matsuo know you're here? Hey, I'm not the one who wants Keen. Analeas has a varin up his ass about this guy. How about this? You pretend you didn't see us, we'll pretend we didn't see you. Good idea. Boom, boom. Boom. See, the engineers are just so... They're just so overpowered in this game. They really are, man. <laughs> there we go. Inferno ammo is the way to go in this game, too. I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. And then, do I decide, is there like a room? Yeah, there is. I think they fucked up with that room and they forgot to put in the door because that was a glitch in the original version of this game, too. Open sesame. There we go, there we got him in. I don't think you're supposed to be in here, Shepard. Do you plan on making me leave? Leave? You think I'm gonna let you walk out? Uh-uh. Analeas would throw you off-world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? Shut up, bitch! What a load of crap. You're here off-duty, breaking the law for bribe money. If you want a fight, I'll give you one. You talk the talk, That's how you take down her fucking group. You get them with a tech mine and then you, um, take them out. <laughs> yeah, man. That's how you do it right there. <laughs> Again, the engineers are just so overpowered. Look at that.
Excuse me. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? It's probably Analeas' thugs ripping the place apart. Smartass, huh? That's fine. I can work with that. Hey, I'd rather be a smartass than a dumbass any day. Before you talk <laughs> to me. I'll be waiting. You know, Shepard would rather be a smartass than a dumbass any day. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. What do you want? The executive board knows about Analeas' corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. With his evidence, this planet can run profitably again. I need Keen's garage pass to complete my mission. You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. In the long run, it is better to remove the source of the problem. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You Spectres play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. All right, I'll talk to Keen and see if I can convince him. Thank you. You know where I work. Come talk to me once you know if he'll play ball. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Analeas. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. Everyone on this station is chafing under Analeas' extortion. You might end up a hero. My employers rely on the goodwill of the executive board to work here. The board is investigating Analeas. They will be more angry at him than at you. All right. It is obvious that I cannot dissuade you. Very well. I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact. I will wait here. All right. Cool. We got him to play ball. Spectre, have you given any more consideration to my offer? It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a Spectre and all. I guess some of you can be all right. Doesn't this help you? You don't seem particularly happy. No, she really doesn't. Static, but right now, I just feel like a long day of work is ending. While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Be careful up there. I have an arrest to make. Wish I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard! I demand you place this bitch under arrest! You have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. See you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. Damn right. You owe me much more than that, actually, but... Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the... I love how her eyes are all bugged out and shit. <laughs> I never noticed that until just now. <laughs> Guess we know what Benez is. No one gets in or out. All right, so we leveled up. What are we going to do here? Are we going to do charm and intimidate? Or are we going to do basic armor? Basic armor it is. Yep. There we go. Oh, 
What did you do here, Commander? Me? I'm the victim here. The Geth attacked us. Geth? You expect me to... Where did they come from? Safe Money says Benezia had them in those shipping containers she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things... Again, why do they put... Why do they put, um... The end, on the end of their names, that Sama or San or... People are good, but few of them have combat experience. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose Geth, there may be an investor panic. Okay. Now we go to the... Mako, we drive, but I, I just skipped over it. Because nothing really happens when you drive, so... I just skipped over it. So here we go. See, the Inferno rounds are really good against Krogan because um, they don't get a chance to regenerate. Have suffered a then I go around here to look to see if there was any items, which there isn't. Throughout facility. Okay. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Shut up, Mira. We know the drill. No shit, Liara. There, we got a medical interface. Um, we do that because the medical interfaces are um, good against toxic damage. So, I don't know why I didn't cut this out, but for some reason I didn't. Alright. Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Okay. Come on. Why didn't I cut this out? Again, why didn't I cut this out? I hate sitting here looking at menu screens. I do. When I watch games like this, I hate doing that. You know? If I'm playing the game, that's one thing, but... You know, if I'm sitting here watching it, I just want to watch the game, not fucking sit here and... There, we got him.
the hell were those things? Xenobiology is not There we go. Nothing is in here. Yeah, I thought another one popped out. There we go. Is this where I make the mistake and accidentally load the game up? I think I do. Yeah, this is the one where I accidentally hit main menu. And I didn't skip it either, son of a bitch. Whoops. So now I gotta do all that bullshit all over again. I should've just... Cut that, and I didn't. I meant to, but oh well. I was going for equip, is what I was going for, and I accidentally hit um load. What the hell were those things? Xenobiology. Maybe someone in the labs knows. That's okay. Shit happens. There we go. So the manual boot, this is easy to do. That's what I meant to do. So we're going down into Mira's core. And I think I accidentally hit the button to come back up, don't I? I think I do. Yep, I did. See, the camera's kind of weird here. You gotta move it just so you can trigger the core. This is easy to do. You gotta move X to either Y or B. There you go. That's how you do that. 
It's bottom to top. That's what you want to do. Bottom to top. Looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? Help would be great. Who are you? This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Commander Shepard. I work for the Citadel Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. One moment, please. Council authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access of all systems. Thank you. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. Cool. We need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. Diagnostic. Excuse me! Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Logging me out. Now exiting to the roof. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Yeah? Trams are offline. Are they now? Well, we'll fix that, won't we? We'll definitely fix that. And I keep bumping my chin on this thing. There we go. There, we leveled up. alert main re there's the landlines fixed we gotta max out no we're gonna go for basic armor still okay then I try to decide what I want to do with Ashley which I'm gonna do combat armor and the RI juice throw yep Liara was a scared little bitch, so she stayed behind. Ugh. Excuse me. See, when I sit still like this, sometimes I, I get so dang on tired, and I think a lot of it is my blood pressure gets low. Because I'm sitting still. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. That's why I only do like hour long videos because it's really hard for me to sit here and do like three, four hour videos. Entering main reactor. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. <laughs> I didn't get a better... There's that one. One got hit. And there's that one. Nice. And there is another one. He's up above. No, he's right over here. 
And then there's one up there. Can we get him from here? Looks like it. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment. It ain't now, is it? And we have completed the repairs of Peak 15. All right. Okay, and then we're out of here. Yep, we are. And then we'll go to the tram, get out of here, and head to peak 15. Or head to the um, labs, I should say. <sighs> Excuse me. You think so? They're locked in. Control group loosen them. They're in. We can't escape. Up the tunnels now. We're sorry. The leads couldn't get to the final struck. Get out while you can. He killed himself because he was part of whatever happened here. Damn shame. God only gives you one life. Many Salarians believe in a wheel of life. Your people call it reincarnation. My people have a similar philosophy. Burn, bitches, burn! Central Station. Destination, Rift Station. Now arriving at Rift Station, Binary Helix Research Facility.
All right. So we go down here and we talk to the captain. Or I should say up. Excuse me. Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. I'd only be upset if they'd fired. Even hopped up on stems, my people know the rule. Two legs good, four legs bad. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. My name is Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. Right? The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. At first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. You were taken by surprise and had civilians to protect. You did a good job, Captain. Yeah? Sure as hell doesn't feel like it. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Venezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. Can take you down to the hot labs. Right on. If you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Go away, Ashley. Shit. Go away, Liara. God damn. What do I do for Ashley? Do I just max out combat? Yeah. Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Right? Okay. Do I go to the hot... No, I decide not to go to the hot labs. I go downstairs to see Dr. Cohen. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I heard there were some problems up here. Furtively, I am concerned about the state of our guards. Many have been awake for days. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock has been appropriated by Captain Ventralis. Okay. Let's get the license and the Metagel upgrade. And that's it, right? Yep. Okay. What? You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. Pardon. 
But I think I just got an upgrade for Ashley right there. Um, nope, not quite. Not quite. But I still do equip it, though, because that's what she wears, so... But what do I decide to put on? What, what, what do you want? I didn't mean to bother you. No, you did nothing wrong. I'm just distracted. What happened to these people? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to because I might be able to help. Right? I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until yeah, you should be. Automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I understand your caution, but I need details. What you say won't go beyond these walls. It's a bioweapon based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Do you imagine that distinction makes this ethical? Militaries, governments, They'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. There's a reason the Citadel Conventions forbid bioweapons, Doctor. I didn't expect you'd understand. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Okay, we're going back. We're going to... Go into the quarantine lab. But we gotta talk to the captain Vin Ventralis first. So we can get in. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. We're not part of your defense plans. We're consuming extra rations, extra metagel. Yeah, but you also have extra guns. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before he'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. Those are reasonable precautions. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. Fuck off, I got work to do. <laughs> Cyrus Cyrus's um, famous line in Trailer Park Boys, fuck off, I got work to do. <laughs> we talked to Arnold. Yeah, we do. You came to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. 
Where did they come from? They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. They're waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? True. If you're going to be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Okay. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. All right. In we go. There, we got the cure. All right. What the hell? I thought you were a scientist. You saw what you expected, nothing more. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! There we go. That's how you do that. Looks like that Asari doctor killed the guard. Yeah. But hey, at least we got out. He came out of there. You mean the get the inorganics the Asari had with her? Benezia brought them with her. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access, like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that the cure? You did it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. I... I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess. Saren the Spectre. Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look, the guards, they've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. 
You saved their lives. Right. Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. Yeah, they are. Totally are. And Trollus wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. So instead of going through the um, guards area, we're going to go through the maintenance area. It's been a long time since I've done this, so you're going to see that I actually screw up a little bit on it. Okay, yeah, I was looking, it's like, what the hell's going on here? And it's like, oh, it's just the back door. Okay. But pretty much you go through the back way to get to uh, labs. But there's a rack and I waiting for us. And now we're in the labs now. Stupid me didn't realize that we're right where we need to be. Yeah, we need to go to the secure lab. We don't need to go to the um we don't need to go to the elevator which I end up doing Watchdog protocol is active that should have been my clue right there that should have been my clue right there but Yeah, see? I didn't need to come here. Off this frozen world, the better. Tell me about it, Liara. I want to get out of here, too. privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. You won't look so smug with a hole in your head. God damn! <laughs> That's how you do it, Shepard! <laughs> That's how you do it, Shepard!
Rah! That gas was running like a little bitch. <laughs> Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Everything is clear. I expected better from the sorry commandos. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> I will not betray him. You will. You. You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Are you saying he brainwashed you? People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. Sovereign's not like other ships. Where did it come from? I cannot say. The Geth did not build it. Its technology is far more advanced than that of any known species. Right. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. Can I assume you found the coordinates? Two thousand years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the Relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination, but you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die! There, we got her with a headshot. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got Nedigel. Maybe we can... No. He is still in my mind. I am not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wind. I will see you again with the dawn. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> okay. So what am I gonna do? Charm? Yep, okay.
Max out combat armor for Ashley. And max out throw for Liara. Says. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange, flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. This is going to be a fun conversation. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind, the children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. All right. I don't think they'll give me much choice anyway. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Commander, I don't trust this thing. We know its kind are killers. The tank is rigged with acid. I recommend using it. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. That is true. Companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. There's a reason their kind were hunted to extinction. It's better to be safe than let a dangerous race loose. Their kind? Interesting choice of words, Chief. Right. I don't want to trust the safety of my little sisters to this alien. It's better to be sure. You will give us the chance to compose anew. We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. There we go. So we freed the Rachni Queen. Now we can get out of here and go to the hot lab. Finish this up.
Are you here to secure the situation? That's right. I'm a Council Spectre. Who are you? I am Yaroslav Tartakovsky, the Operations Director. I would stand and shake hand, but uh, you must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? I don't understand anything yet. What were you doing here? Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. I'm not sure I would qualify this as a miracle. Binary right? Plan to clone Rachni. Must produce them. Create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will get near the Now we look for him, wherever he landed. There he landed. Now we gotta go in and initiate the Neutron Purge. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input. 875-020-079. Code Omega. Local execution. Verified. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. All right. Let's get the hell out of here. There, that's all the Rachni. Okay, switch over. Thank you. Do we do fitness? I think so. Yep. And for her, we do barrier, I think. Yeah. All right. So now we can get out of here and get back on the ship. Finally.
What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Right. Who you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander, do not cut me off like last time. <laughs> I find it amusing. Let's just stick to business. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? All I care about is stopping Saren. The Rachni don't matter. The mission must always come first. Just be aware that your actions can have far-reaching consequences. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this episode. So I hope you all had fun, and I will see you all in the next episode.